Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and welcome back to The Infected. Today, we are going to focus on starting to get stuff to sell to the trader, all right? And there's a there's a, uh, a thought process here, a little line of consciousness that I was thinking about before the episode, and I'm going to bring you guys on that journey with me. Now, a lot of people are saying that electrical parts are the best thing to sell, and I got to be honest, I 100% agree. I could not find anything that I saw that was better than electrical parts. First of all, electrical parts stack in big stacks, like 20, I think 25. They don't weigh a lot, which is awesome. And they sell for five gold each. Now, here's the cool thing about electrical parts. They take they take three key resources, one cobalt ingot, one copper ingot, and three oil. One cobalt and one copper is no big deal. The three oil is a big deal, all right? But it's the cheapest thing I could find, or the best, the most cost-effective thing I could find to make with oil. So, um, we're going to come over here. Now, I can't even run this thing because I don't have enough power. I mean, I could run it, but then everything else is going to shut down. The oil pump and the stone grinder are more important, so I will keep those two going. And we got to make that we got to get that oil extractor running, which means we have to do more power. Now, I'm a big fan of the solar panels because they give you way more the solar panels give you a lot more power than the wind turbines, but here's the thing with the wind turbines. Someone brought this up in the um in the comment section. It's a really good point. The wind turbines, what they will do is they will lessen the, the power drain during the night and add to it during the day. So they're actually really good augmentation for these solar panels. Or augmentate, no, there's a word for it when you add something additive. I don't remember the word, but whatever. They're going to make things better, and we're going to make some today. So let's go ahead and start that right now. I want to start I want to start selling stuff in, like, I want to start making some real money. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some solar panels up here. I guess I'll put them on this side. They look pretty good over here, I guess. There we go. And we'll start with, um, you know what? I'll just put down a ghost image for five. Um, I'm probably going to want to line them up somehow. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to want to line them up somehow. So we'll put one right here. And then what we'll do is we'll delete this one. And then we got to decide how far. Now, they have to be somewhat far away from each other because they don't have to be. But I like them to be somewhat far away from each other because I don't like the idea of the blades, like, hitting themselves. Okay, so I think... We'll put one uh, in the middle of a foundation and then the edge of a foundation. Uh, I think this is the middle and this is the edge. And then I believe that is the middle. Okay, so we got five up there. So what are we going to need first? Well, aluminum is going to be the thing that's going to hold us back on this. So let's grab all the aluminum we have and bring them up here. The cool thing is uh, all the... All the extractors at the caves are running the way they're supposed to be, and they will continue running as long as I can keep this thing going, which is the whole point of this thing. Uh, I do need some water. I think I have some water already ready to go here. There we go. Drink some water. And I also got to keep the crops inside hydrated. So since it's snowing, uh, does snow? Oh, I don't think snow fills these up, does it? I'm not really sure. I don't think it does, but it doesn't matter because you can get water off the ground. So it's irrelevant. I've got to um, water these crops. I'll do that off camera, though. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, I, I, I moved a bunch of things over here. And we're going to grab... I'm just going to grab all of them. And we'll grab some of these to kind of fill me up. There we go. And let's get these... Uh, yeah, let's get... I, the wind turbines are really going to really gonna be a good um, addition here. They really are. And uh, once I get to the point where I can run all three of the machines I have, then i got to start working on a second oil extracting machine. There's, there's no two ways about it. I'm getting a second one. Wow, we can only get one of these up. All right. Lead and cobalt. Lead and cobalt. Whoops. Whoop, whoop. Oh, beautiful. Thought I was going to hurt myself. <laughs> We're going to need some iron. We're going to need some lead. And some cobalt. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need, I need more oil extractors. I mean, if I'm going to be doing oil extractors, I'm going to need three oil well, technically, three oil will get me five gold. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. So, that's what we're going to be working towards. And when I started today's episode, I was saying to myself, you know what? I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to start doing base defense. For those of you who don't know, those of you who are new to the game, there is base defense in this game. I've turned it off because I don't really love it. Um, the, the, the developer's got a lot of work to do with it. But if you look at your land claim block and you turn on... Um, the light levels and noise levels uh, when the, when the when the noise or the light level gets up to um, I guess ten, it'll call in a horde. Okay, 
you know, so if you want to do that from day one, you can very well do that. I, I tend to turn off the horde, the hordes because I like to have an accelerated game progression. So you, so you guys aren't like having to watch 50 episodes just for me to get anywhere. Uh, but I will be turning them on. I, as a matter of fact, I would have turned them on in this episode. Um, but if you're going to turn them on, you have to build uh, things like this right here, the barbed wire fences. And to line those up when the when the ground is white, is is a it's painful. So I'm going to wait until the uh, winter's over, and then I have, I have every intention of starting to build base defenses and turning on the base attacks. So do I want to go check out the... Whoa, why is my guy shaking like that? That was weird. Do I want to go check out the caves right now or wait until the morning? I guess I'm going to wait until the morning, but let's get a... Uh, let's get a box out there and we need an empty box which is right here and what we'll do is we will go out to the caves in the morning grab all the resources and then after that we will go out to our extractor in the desert and grab the oil shale don't forget you can't make oil without the oil shale and i only have 18 left bright and early in the morning and you know what i was thinking about during the night you know what i dreamt about i dreamt about more mineral extractors so here's the thing i wasn't making more mineral extractors because I was like, every mineral extractor I need to make is going to be more biofuel, and I'm going to run out of biofuel. Now that we have the oil pump, we need to make as many mineral extractors as possible. Like, seriously. Um, there's no reason not to. Whether you have five mineral extractors or 50 mineral extractors, it makes absolutely zero difference once you have that oil extractor. All the more reason to get that oil extractor up as soon as possible. So... I got everything going here. That's all looking good. Um, I think what I want to do is I'm going to make a mineral extractor and then I'm going to take stuff to make another mineral extractor. Well, actually, I might not have enough iron for two. Let me see how much iron I have here. Okay, there we go. We're definitely going to make one and we'll carry it over there while we're on the vehicle. And then if I have enough, I'll make another one over there. Yo, 18. So if we have another 18, we'll be good to go. And I got to start banging out some iron for sure. Uh, what am I looking for? Iron, that's right. Yeah, there's no way I have another 18. Uh, 15? 16? Oh, 16! Oh my goodness, maybe I should do a batch. Alright, let me do a batch of iron. And here we are at the cave. I love that. I, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but that oil pump is so unbelievably awesome. I love it. It might be my favorite item in the game, honestly. It, it might be. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to extract aluminum. Ten minutes. All the If you, like, leave it up to random chance, you'll get something every five minutes. If you if you zoom in on one thing, it'll be every ten minutes. And I'm also going to put this one on aluminum. Because I need aluminum that badly. All right. So, I, I just, I'm so happy I don't have to put fuel in there. It's so great. The only thing that sucks is it does take some time, so I can't hurry this process up in any way, which is a, a, a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, all right, let's come in here and unload this one as well. Maybe I'll take my pick up here and I'll come and get some uh, get some lead out of here because I am going to need a lot of lead as well. But I think what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go check out the extractor in the desert because... See, it takes like four minutes to get one thing of oil, so you don't need a ton of oil because it's going to take so long to get it no matter what. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to put a second extractor in the desert. I don't think so. I really don't. But again, it wouldn't cost me any more fuel. So if I think I need it, I'll do it. And um, we can just keep banging out iron. Now, we're going to have the we're gonna have the stone grinder going nonstop, except for when I got to go to sleep at night. Not a big deal. And we will have the that... Uh, oil pump going almost nonstop. We really need to get more power because I feel like those extractors I just emptied were a little on the light side because they weren't running during the night. Now, it doesn't 100% make a difference if they run during the night because I'm sleeping through most of the night. What happened during the night around 10 o'clock, um, I lost power and everything went off and then I just slept the entire night. So I guess theoretically, but the thing is, I wouldn't have, I would not have slept the entire night. I didn't need to sleep the entire night. In this game, you only need like five hours of sleep for some reason to get your sleep meter up. So I could have stayed up a lot of that night and got some more work done, but I don't know. I don't know if it really matters, to be honest. All right. What do you got for me? Oh, only three? Look at all these stone. What's with all this stone? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to... That's, that's weird, dude. I think I had, like, one in there. Yeah, that's, that's odd. That's odd. I don't remember how many I left in there. That's a lot of stone and not a lot of oil shale. 
Yeah, maybe we will have to put up another one in there. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I probably should, just to make sure. But honestly, I can't afford to run the oil, the oil extractor anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But once I can run that oil extractor, I start making a second, you know, and I start running two. I'm definitely gonna need more extractors up there. But for now, it probably really doesn't matter. And honestly, my extractors are better off getting me uh, aluminum because aluminum is what's holding me back from getting more power going. So I need more aluminum to get more power going. If I don't have the aluminum. I can't run the oil extractor because I don't have the power, so it doesn't matter how much oil shale I have. All right, people, let's do some cooking here. Got a decent amount of stuff. I went ahead and mined up a bunch of lead, so I'm going to cook up probably all this lead ore. Um, I do have some lead ore in Oh, yeah, I'm going to cook up all that lead ore. I got some iron ore here, lead ore here. I did make steel. There's a bunch of steel. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Um, just got to cook up some of that stuff, wait a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Um, I'm debating if I want to extend this thing. I don't think I'm going to extend this thing just yet, this building. Um, and the reason I'm not going to is because, like I said, next episode, probably next episode, I, I reserve the right to change my mind, but probably next episode, I'm going to be putting defenses around this entire compound. And I don't want to extend this thing because then it's going to make... Uh, the defenses are going to take even longer to build. Now, eventually, this is going to be a giant compound and there's going to be lots of defense around it. It's going to be super expensive. But you know what? This game does progression so well that it's 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 nothing I can't handle, um, and I just have to decide how big I need the inside to be. Um, I meant to make I was thinking I was gonna make this thing like it's gonna have a giant opening in the middle, and I was gonna make a base completely around it. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna make the base like a U, and then maybe make some kind of if I could figure out a way to do it, I'd like to make I'd like to make an opening that I could drive the truck in. I, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I gotta think about where I'm gonna put the truck. Um, and the truck does get taken into a, where is it? For the truck, there is a garage. So I'm going to have to make the garage and build kind of maybe, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. I'll think about it. I'll have to think about it. I don't really have a good answer right now. All right. So let's grab all this, grab all this. Um, you know, I think we should do iron next. So we're going to put, fill this up with iron. Cause I think we're out of iron or at least close to it. Oh, beautiful. Mm, we're not out of iron, but we don't have a ton. This way. Now, what else am I going to have to bring upstairs? Probably iron. There we go. Let's go see if we can get another uh, wind turbine done. And then maybe I'm going to start making some batteries. Yeah, I'm thinking five wind turbines and start banging out batteries. Just, if these things are so damn expensive on aluminum, it's killing me. Oh, yeah. I, I just, I'm not getting enough aluminum. Okay, well, let's bring up the lead, lead, cobalt, iron. Yeah, lead, cobalt, and iron. When, we, when we're done today, we will have those five, those five uh, uh, wind turbines done. Oh, what's, wrong with my, what's wrong with my brain? There we go, put that in there. And then we'll put this over here. Wait, is that another cobalt? Lead. Oh, okay, cobalt. Okay, good. I know I had two of each, so. All right, um, do I want to set up some batteries as well? I think I probably do. Yeah, I want to set up some batteries. Placeables, NPC, furniture. What's that under power? Go. Okay. And we'll put one. Lower the DPI settings on my mouse. And why isn't that going green? There we go. That one there, that one there, and one more. Okay. All right. Gonna need a lot of friggin' aluminum, dude. Holy moly. Got all that. Let's go ahead and grab the lead and get that started. And what did I say I need up front? Copper, cobalt, and iron, I think. Copper, cobalt, and iron. I probably have too much iron on me, though. As a matter of fact, I know I do. So, there we go. Copper. Put some iron away. Grab some cobalt. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get done. What is this? Is, um, it's still January? I feel like it should be February already, but I guess not. Well, it is what it is. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I feel like it should be. It is what it is. Did I not take... Oh, I took cobalt instead of lead, didn't I? Wait, I need cobalt. Oh, I took copper. I didn't need copper. Okay. 
All right, fair enough. So we're just going to need a bunch of lead, which is good because I'm cooking it up right now. Another thing I can do while I'm waiting for everything to, you know, get harvested or get mined and get cooked and everything is I can make a uh, helmet for myself, which is uh, something I've been meaning to do for a while. And I just, have, I don't know, just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm going to do it right now, but let's get some more iron going before we do that. There we go. Get some more iron. Cooking up the iron. I think this will be the last bit of iron I'll cook. I was just thinking about it too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do base attacks next episode. Um, because in order to do base attacks, I'm going to need... Basically, I, what I want to do is when I do my base attack episode, I want to have enough materials to craft the entire base defense and have base attacks come in. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, resources for that next episode. Um, if I do, we'll do the base attacks next episode. If I don't, then we will um, we'll do something else. Probably a looting video or something. That thing's starting to go down. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and make that helmet. So we'll grab this. We'll grab copper and cloth. It's cloth. Here we go. And I think I need one piece of copper for it. And I, it's got to be in the loom, right? I mean, the loom's all the way over here for some reason. All right, so there we go. And there we go. I do have a helmet on. So wait, do I have the helmet on? Did I take it off? I took it off. Okay. Fair enough. That's good. It means I don't have to go take it off right now. And this thing's not only awesome because of the armor, but it's awesome. Item can be... This item can't be crafted by the player. Wait, what? Oh, because it's in the workbench. Okay. That's weird. That's not in the loom. I didn't know that. I could have made this a long ass time ago. Like a real long time ago. All right. Fair enough. There we go. And not only does it give me more defense, but... Boom. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. That is going to make things a lot better for me. Oh, just, it's just getting better. It's getting better day by day. Alrighty, I got another batch of stuff cooking up. So let's see what we got here. Got that. We got that. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm going to put these out for... Actually, no, I'm not going to put them out. You know what I was thinking? As I was like in between cuts, I'm like... This is going too slow. Like, this is just taking too long. It's going too slow. And then I was thinking of what I said in the beginning of the episode. Just make more friggin' extractors, dude. All they take is iron and planks. And iron's not going to be a problem for you. So, we need to keep this thing going at all times. And then just keep making extractors. Eventually, we're going to be pushing out enough, uh, enough aluminum to be able to get stuff done. And by the way, that's all the aluminum I have right now. So let's go see if we can go up. And once I once I am done with five uh, wind turbines, I think I'm going to do more solar panels and batteries. Go. See, look at this, man. It's like, <laughs> I'm just not getting the aluminum quick enough, you know? Um, we're almost out of uh, winter. This is I've been recording for a long time today. So the stuff's automatic, but it's not it's anything but fast. All right, you know what? There we go. Let's just go make another one right now to hell with it. The hell with it. And again, just like I mentioned this earlier, I'm going to mention it again. I know people skip around on my videos and stuff. Next episode could be, depending on how much iron I have saved up, next episode could be a base building episode. I could turn on the base attacks and start building up defenses. But defenses are super duper expensive, especially for a base that's going to be as big as what I want to do. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, if I don't have the materials to do the entire, you know, fence, what we'll do is we'll do some looting. And, you know, you may think, well, how's loot going to help you get... Well, the thing is, first of all, loot can help me get stuff because I can get stuff while I'm looting. But really what I'm doing when I'm looting is I'm giving my uh, machines a chance to, you know, get a lot of materials. So it's not so much looting for the loot, although that does help. But it's more getting the... Um, giving my machines a chance to do their thing. Is that it for the iron? Mm, let's see. Yeah, that's it. I think that's all the iron I've left, so... All right, we're going to leave those alone, so let's go ahead and put this out. And put this out. And, oh, we still have some more aluminum. That's right, I didn't actually use it all. All right, so we're going to grab this aluminum. We're going to grab some nails. And we're going to grab some planks. As much as we can hold. We're going to come out here and build this up. Cool. 
And then let's get on the roof. And see what we could do with this one. Will this one be done? Yes. Alright, cool. We're seven away from making our last one. They just, they take ten aluminum, man. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. But, we've got all three things running. Okay. And we only have 27 power. It doesn't seem like these are doing that much. I mean, they're, they're, because they're kind of not. It's also because the, the power is not that, that big, so... They're not going to be the main source of, of uh, power, that's for sure. I think what I want to do next is start building up the batteries. Keep driving the vehicle out to the caves. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going through a lot of gas and oil. I need oil to make gas. I mean, honestly, I can't even make gas right now because I don't have the uh, tech for it. But even if I did, it takes oil to make gas. and I need oil for other things. This place is not that far away. I just feel like I'm being lazy in a video game. I mean, that's like next level laziness right there. Like, what the hell? Just freaking run out there, bro. Save your gas, man. Like, I'm going to have a lot of places to go to loot in this world. Like, I'm going to need the gas for that. So, yeah, let's come out of here and see what we got. I've got a lot of uh, extractors in here. I think I will be able to finish my fifth solar, uh, my fifth wind turbine today. But I don't think I'm going to get as far as I wanted to on some other things. I was hoping to start ramping up oil production, but... It's just, it's not going to happen, man. Like, um, I did four wind turbines and I still running all three items. It's not even that good. It must have been, um, it must have been a, like a cloudy few days because it's kind of weird because I was running all three, like a few days ago in game. I mean, um, I was running all three a few days ago and it was okay. I, I could keep all three on. I had a little bit left over, but not that much. Now five, five wind turbines later, I, I'm in the same exact situation. I'm running all three. And I only have a little bit left over. So um, maybe you just don't get... Well, you know what it is. It's probably the winter. D does the... So the seasons change in this game. Spring, fall, summer, winter. Do you actually get less sunlight in the game? Like, are your solar panels not going to put out as as much in the game in winter? Because I didn't think the game actually like took that into account. But maybe it does. I don't know. I feel like my solar panels... I feel like when I looked at them, they were put out max, uh, max power. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something obvious. I don't know, but yeah, man, for real. Um, I'm going to do an experiment here to you guys. I'm going to ask you really quickly. Uh, it does get hot in my room. I'm going to turn around right now and I'm going to turn on my fan for the rest of the video. You guys let me know. Number one, can you hear the fan? I don't think you can. I just, I basically, I uh, stopped talking because I wanted to see my mic levels. And when I stop talking, there's nothing coming in through my mic. So you might be able to hear what I'm talking. You guys let me know. Let me know in the comments. Either way. Um, can you hear the fan? Is the fan bothering you? Whatever. I could probably turn down my air conditioner a little bit. Maybe open my door. Uh, the problem with turning down the air conditioner is it costs money. And the problem with opening the door is my cats will come in here. And I've had my cats walk on my computer and turn the power off while I'm playing. So yeah, I prefer not to have that happen. Man, freaking damn stamina. They need to put coffee in this game or something for real. Like, we need some kind of coffee or tea or something. Something to give us some kind of stamina boost. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here because my carbohydrates are looking low. Yep, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. And I'm going to... I don't know why this is all the way over here. Well, I guess because this is where my crops will be three, three seasons out of the year. They're not normally going to be inside, so... The cool thing about what I'm doing right now with the pumpkins... Is... Oh, you don't get the seed until you actually harvest it. Okay. Ooh, that actually could be a problem. Oh, that's weird. So, yeah, I don't get the seed by picking up the pumpkin. But if I had my NPC doing it, I would get the seed. That's interesting. Well, I gotta I gotta eat one of these anyway, so... Yeah, because I, I've had my NPC... Pick, like, if when you have an NPC, he'll, like, go into your, like, little, um, farm area. And he'll take all the, you know, he'll, he'll water your crops. He'll pick up your crops, put it where they gotta go. And just take, basically just take all your crops, right? The problem is, if I do it, I don't get all the crops back. That's crazy. I didn't. I don't get the seeds. If I just pick up the uh, the crops and put them in a box, I don't get the seeds. That's interesting. Something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're looking good there. Let's. Uh, what was I doing next? Let's see how the power is going. Yeah, see, only thirty six. Although, I, yeah, the solar panels are putting out their max power, right? Power per panel. See that? No, no. See that power per panel? I think that's max. 
Wait, what the hell? Why is it at 123 now? Did it start snowing or something? Yeah, it did. Alright, so I was misreading this. Oh, no, I wasn't. No, power per panel is 20 now because it's putting out less. Alright, we're at negative 124. Let's turn off the oil extractor. Because the other two are far more important. Okay, and let's put these in here. Alright, now let me go on the roof and see what I got going on up there because I don't remember. I think I... I think I still need a little bit... I think I still need a few... Um, aluminum, possibly. Let's kind of go up there. Man, I'm freezing in my own house. Because, um... Th the reason I'm freezing is because this is over here. Oh, uh, we gotta keep that going. One second. Yeah, the reason I'm freezing in my house is because this heater does not heat up too large of an area. So, if I want to be okay, I gotta stand over here. Also, if I stand over there... Then I'm gonna overheat because you know it's either negative 30 or 73. There's no middle ground. So I need to put my jacket away and stand right here. And I'm pretty much have to stand here for the duration of the blizzard. Good thing is the blizzards don't last that long. We are pretty much at the end of winter. Next time I record, it will definitely be March. Thank goodness. I hate the winters. Let's go ahead and finish this last wind turbine. There we go. And I will be working on these solar panels as we move along. Oh, wow. I actually got another solar panel done. I didn't think I was going to get that done. Cool. Now let's take a look at our power power issues here. All right. Negative 60, middle of the night. I'm getting nothing from my solar panels. So I guess that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. All right. And I've got my... Um, I, the only thing I have is the oil pump. That's the most important thing to keep running. Um, although that oil... Extra i got to keep these running too. I'm just going to need more power, man. I'm going to need more power. What time is it? It's 10.51. All right, it's not quite time to go to sleep yet. But I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.